How is my standing with God? Paul said in verse 7 to keep me, I'm back to it now, from being exalted above measure, from becoming conceited and puffed up with pride and self-centered because of the abundance of the revelation, because of all of the blessings that God has showered down on me sometimes. The blessings of God can make us worse than we were before God blessed us. In order to bring some balance, I'm moving to a close, in order to bring some balance and some humility, I look at Bishop Long's situation, I tell you, I'm going to practice a whole lot more humility. I ain't got much to begin with. But I tell you one thing, if I fall, I don't want to have to fall too far. Can I get a witness? If you humble yourself. Whatever comes in life, you won't. If you fall, you won't have to fall too far. Uh, God said, if my people which are called by my name. Humble themselves. Pray. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and heal their land. He said that was given to me. It was a gift. Some of the things that we have, some of the maladies, some of uh, the uh, other things in our lives that we pray for, that God does not remove. It ain't that he does not love you. He doesn't remove it because he does love you. Oh, I wish I had a praying church here. Paul said, uh, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to harass me. And Satan will harass you, won't he? There was given to me a thorn, the messenger of Satan, to aggravate me and agitate me and irritate me. I prayed to God. Are you with me? I begged God. You ever begged God for anything? You ever got down on your knees? You ever had a problem uh, so difficult uh, that you didn't just say, now nah, lay me down to sleep? Pray the Lord, my soul to keep. No, no, you beg God. Anybody in here know anything about showing up prayer? I ain't talking about cute words. I ain't talking about trying to impress somebody. I'm talking about Father. I stretch. You don't hear me. My hands to thee. No other. Not my sister, not my brother. No other. Help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, whither shall I go? In other words, uh, does anybody in here know anything about just leaning? Listen to me. I prayed to God on at least three Garden of Gethsemane type occasions. Not just asking Lord while I'm driving, Lord help me, Lord heal me, Lord said, no, no, I went to God, got down on my knees three times. I begged him to remove. 
the thorn from my flesh trying to get God to heal me but the only balm in Gilead that God gave me to heal my ailing body was this my grace ain't gonna take it away I'm gonna leave it there I know it's painful, but I'm going to leave it there. I know it hurts. I know sometimes you, you, you're embarrassed. We don't know what ailment Paul had, but God said, I'm going to leave it there. My grace, my loving presence, my mercy is sufficient because I'm trying to get to you, church. My strength. Shake somebody's hand and tell them, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you are weak, that's when you feel like you need God more than you ever needed Him before. And God is saying, that's where I want you. That's where I want to keep you. I want to keep you feeling like you need me. Because I blessed you so much, Paul, that I got to leave something there to keep you humble. Can I get a witness here? Every time you, every time you feel that thorn sticking you in your flesh, you will say to yourself, Lord, 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 So Paul says that being, that since that's the case, if that's how it works, if physical weakness is required for me to be spiritually strong, if weakness is Required if weakness is a prerequisite, if weakness is necessary in order for me to be the recipient of God's strength, if I can't have it unless I'm weak, if the weaker I am, the more of God's strength I will receive. Do you hear what I'm saying here? the case that the only way I'm going to feel more of your strength is if I feel a whole lot of my own weakness if that's what you require Lord if that's where you want me Lord then I will glory I will rejoice celebrate my weakness oh Lord I want you to know that you got to really grow in grace you got to really grow in your relationship with the Lord before you are able to not celebrate your strengths but to really go on and celebrate your weakness and celebrate he said my weakness in order that God's presence will rest upon me songwriter said if Jesus goes with me I'll go anyway can I get a witness here tis heaven to me, wherever I be, I count it a privilege, good God of mine, and Jesus said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Can I get a witness here? He said that to Joshua. 